Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here. So I was thinking, you know, the times that I've done like a day in my life or like a day vlog, I feel like I need to have so many things to do in order to like fulfill a video for you guys. And I figured, Karen, why the hell do you just not do like a weekly vlog? So we're gonna try it out. Um, today's like my first day. So I'm just gonna bring you along with whatever I do either at home or out or whatever. I'm here at Starbucks right now waiting to get in line, but I was trying to figure out this whole camera situation and I can't. Who's honking? By the way, do you guys like this foundation? This is the Huda Beauty Foundation. I posted a review on it, or actually by the time you guys see this, it'll already be posted. I really like it, it's so pretty. I'm just waiting for it not to clock my pores. But I'm doing like a word test right now and so far guys, so good. Look at this. I got it to stay. You should see how ghetto it looks, but whatever. But anyways, one of the girls that I watch here on YouTube, her name is Carla Spinoza. She's so funny, real, and like down to earth. Um, She has no idea I exist. She didn't give the name, so I literally had to pause her video like 500 times because I wanted to see what she had because I noticed every time that she vlogs, like her camera doesn't move. And I don't like using this camera right here. I mean, I have but I don't love it. So she uses these and she sticks them on the dashboard. It's supposed to keep your camera on there and like not move at all. Based on how her package looked, that's the same one. So this is what it looks like. Not that you guys care. Ooh. Okay, so it's super sticky and then this is supposed to go on here. So I'm gonna move you guys really quick. You might fall. Yeah, you fell. Okay, so this is what I thought the dashboard was gonna look like, right? This is how it looks. So I feel like whatever I place right here, since it's slanting downwards, it's just gonna make the camera fall forward, you know? Okay, so that's what it looks like. <sighs> Tell me why I'm at Starbucks trying to figure this shit out. Oh my God, the Starbucks line got long. Crap. Oh, that scared me. I thought I was getting stopped. I honestly thought this was gonna work for me, but I guess I need to have a different type of camera. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but when you get to Starbucks, aren't you supposed to be there for like less than two minutes before they say hi or like give us a minute or something? I swear, I always have like the worst luck and I know they're busy, so like it's fine, you know? But I was like, hello? <laughs> like, are you guys open? So I wanted to go get a pedicure, right? But then I also want to do like my hands. I need to remove these. These are so grown out. Look at this. Can you guys see? I don't know if you could tell my cousin did these like three weeks ago almost a month and she was like just do the fill on yourself and i was like no i don't think you understand like i don't know how to do my fills like i mess them up i leave like balls on them they don't come out looking cute you know i didn't have nails for a long time i had them okay i'm good you know i want to go back to short and i just want to go back to doing like dip powder so dip powder is a little bit different than gel because it's, it's what it is it's a dip powder and it helped me grow my nails a lot and it's better than gel because it's thicker but it's like your own nail if that makes sense you know does that make sense so anyways i just decided that i'm gonna go tomorrow because that way today i could remove my acrylics and i also saw a tiktok video oh my gosh i'm running out of light i'm running out of light i also saw a tiktok that shows you like the easiest way to remove it and i believe it's like olive oil i have to find it because i normally just remove them with hot water and acetone oh my god the girl's looking at me how awkward oh no 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 look at this line Look at this line. Oh no, that is way too long. For in and out Are you kidding me? I'm going to Chick-fil-A. That's like 45 minute wait. No. Wow. I'm sure you guys have already heard of this, but if you go to Starbucks and you get a grande drink in a venti cup with extra ice, like this one, for example, the mango dragon fruit, if you add lemonade, you literally are paying for a grande and getting a venti. Only because you get the lemonade. Because the lemonade is really sweet. Milagro, they put so many little dragon fruits in there. Hey there. Okay, so I just finished doing my makeup and I wanted to show you guys just a little random haul of like a few things that I got from Amazon. So Thomas and I are supposed to get rid of this Christmas tree. It's currently January 29th, but I've had this tree on for like a whole month. Look. So this weekend we're taking it down. I wish I could just keep it on like the whole year. But anyways, I wanted to show you a random quick little haul. It's actually only like three items, three or four items. In a previous Amazon haul, I don't know if you guys remember, I spoke about this plastic um, drain thing that I use for my bathtub so that I'm able to take like a bubble bath. Anyways, and I saw this and I thought, oh my gosh, this would be so cute to put in there. Um, and it's submersible. So I already put the batteries in and then it's got these little plastic things that are used to help this stick on to your bathtub. 
Isn't it cool? Honestly, this is one of those things that's like, did you really need it? I think it would look really cool in the bathtub, like with no light, just my candle, you know? I don't know, it's just a vibe. I'm really trying to have like a whole ass jacuzzi in there. So I'll let you guys know how it works. It's got a fade, it's got flash, smooth transition. It has a timer for two, four, or six hours. I'll put the link down below and you guys could check it out if you're interested. And then we got something else. Oh no, this is Thomas's creamer. Never mind. So I don't know what items are for me because everything comes under my name. But this is for me. So I just stocked on another face wash. I've been needing this one because I'm down to like the end of my last one. And you know what? I looked it up and the last time I bought these was like in June or July. And I got two of them because I normally like to keep one in the shower and then one by the sink. So they last me a really long time. And then the fact that the face wash is really thick, a little goes a really long way. And then this, I'm most excited about this one. I had gotten one of these before, but I gave it to my mom and I just got this one for myself. So I'm going to put it up there. So the reason why I got this is because... I'm out of room in my closet and then I did make some space up there. And then one of you guys had mentioned when I did the empty house tour, like, oh, you should put your clothes up there. And now I'm doing it. And it's because I want to have clothing up there that I'm using for like videos and stuff. All right, guys, so I found the TikTok. There's a lot of them actually on how to remove your acrylic nails just by using warm water, soap and oil and see if it works. I brought my acetone either way downstairs just in case because that's normally what I do. I've already done a whole video where you guys could see how I remove them. Yeah, I'm going to try this one first because I know acetone could be a little bit more like harsh on your skin Alrighty, so i'm gonna use this bowl either way i put it in the dishwasher so it's good and i don't really like using oil from like plastic containers i normally use glass bottles i don't know my mom told me it's like better so we're just gonna pour and then i'm gonna put soap i'm using dawn maybe like four pumps and then hot water Okay, it's not hot enough. I'm going to put it in the microwave. And then I'm also going to file the top layer of my nails because you need to remove the coating, you know? So that for sure is going to help with the removal. I was supposed to do this yesterday, but it's all good. The only reason why I'm doing them is because last time I got them done when I went to the Worst Reviewed Nail Salon, they literally ripped them off. I know not all places remove them like that, but still, that just scared me. So, so I remove them now. I just finished soaking my hands for like 25 or 30 minutes in the soap, water, and olive oil. It didn't work for me. And I normally cut my nails. I don't know why I didn't cut them earlier, but I'm just going to cut them. And I'm going to do it the method that I always do it. There we go. Now we soak them. Let me show you. So we put the acetone in here, the plastic baggie, and then we put our hands in here, and then we just dip it in the hot water. The chemical? Yeah. <laughs> and then we just let it soak here. Hey guys, okay, so we came to the nail salon. The other place that we were gonna go to was closed. So we called this other one and they were open and they were very willing to take us in. And I forgot to record like before I came in, but she's going in right now, she's going in. And Melly is over there. We're like super separated. By the way, do you guys like my brows? They look extra dark today. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys. But yeah, I did get my brows microbladed, but I have a whole video where I will um, talk to you guys about that and my whole experience, if I haven't already. Do you guys remember my crooked toes? getting really what's swelling. swelling yeah my head looks horrible it, lo it looks like i have a lazy eye look at this but you said that you were gonna get lashes huh i'm not gonna get my eye oh. God, oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god guys i'm home look at my toes <laughs> i had cut my second two toes because i didn't want her to cut them there but i was talking to my cousin while she was like getting in you know and i forgot to tell trim mom i always tell them don't trim mom like i'll take care of it you know at home but yeah i'm sad Mira nomás. 
those chuecos i normally square them you know even though they're crooked but i try my best and then i really love how she did my manicure this is the dip powder i was telling you guys about and this now right here like my ring finger that one she had to apply a tip because it was really short when i removed my acrylics i accidentally cut extra and it was just like a natural color that they had that way i could paint them whatever color i want here at home No, you're not. No, we're gonna hug each other for a second. Okay, okay, for a second. That's yeah. all you're gonna give me? Where are you going?